Okay. Um, so as you can see, um, I am going to now show you how to build your pillow fold. So what you want to do is start with your two biggest pillows for your bottom layer. Then you want to go to biggest to smallest. But you want to say, like, this is my second biggest pillow, I think. Maybe third. Okay, third. Yeah. It, well, it depends. If it's about this big, it would be your third biggest pillow. And if your second one's like this, and your third one is like that. So, yeah. What you want to do is place this on the... I, I just did on the left side. I'm not sure it works on it. And yes, this is going to be your roof, so you want to save that. And then you're just, now to make up for it, you're going to use two small pillows. Actually, hold on. You want to use these pillows, not that big, if you have pillows about the size of this. And then make it up with some small pillows now once you think it's about level like this is probably level go ahead um i guess you can actually um turn on the roof because if well if you want if you don't care about like going in and stuff like if you want safety improvements it should be like you still have about this much um and the roof i mean i bet everybody wants the roof because that's like the coolest part so, uh, if you're using safety improvements, try to get like four of like these sized pillows. And you might need to use like a stool. So, um, yeah, if you want safety improvements, if you don't want to, just use all your pillows now. That's the thing you're fine with. I'm going to show you how to do the safety improvement. So, now what you want to do is, of course, work the roof. It should be like this. Now this is for like everybody. So this is where it's like. And then here, you're going to use your stool if you have one. You're going to put it right here. Now, the first one is for like this and you have a chair right there and your things like not completely filled. Try to put like a pillow right there. Now you don't have to put a line right there because that's a super small place. But you do want to put one right here. Yes, I can fit through it. So yeah, you want to put one there, you want to put one right here, and then you're probably going to have one extra, and that can be the chimney. So there you go. That's how you make the pillow forts. And um, if you want to um, do it like super tall, here's how you do it. So let me just clear all this stuff off. So if you want like taller, not like super tall, but a little bit taller, um, just stack it up. Make, try to make it even if you have an even amount of pillows. Try to make it even. I mean, but that's always what I would recommend. Even. So yeah, and then once you get here.
eventually, um, I'm going to get like, eventually I'm going to get like a million, but, um, so that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I am going to, um, well, I'm going to say bye. <laughs> so guys, um, this was not going to be a blooper. Um, I actually did those on purpose, just for entertainment reasons and stuff. So, um, yeah, as you heard, I'm going to be starting this new thing. I'm going to do videos every day. Now, like I said, um, some of them might be away in that last blooper, but, um, so I'll cover most of that in that last one. And, um, today I'm going to be redoing a review on my pillow fort. And for like you, it didn't fall apart this time. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to get in my pillow fort. And, um, at the end, I might show you how to build a pillow fort easily. So, yeah, just with the few pillows, as you can see now. So, you don't even have to have, like, this pillow, that pillow, this pillow, this pillow, that. Uh, I already did this. <laughs> but, uh, or that one. Is, um, that's just for safety reasons. Um, I don't know why I did them. I just wanted to because I had extra pillows. And um, I'm going to show you how to get into my pillow fort entrance. And, by the way, if you pick an entrance like this, like, my entrance is right there. So if you pick like an entrance like this, that is perfect because it takes forever, and I mean forever, to get to the entrance. So let me just, well, there's one of those from number four. <laughs> so here's how you get to the entrance. You have to go through here. Now you have to go behind the couch. So I raised my voice a little bit there because um, I'm way far away, as you can see. Now let's get to here. No, wait, wait, where am I supposed to go? Underneath the chair! Now this is called parent proof. No parent can get in here unless they tear the floor down. No parent can fit underneath this chair. So it's called parent proof, okay? So I'll probably take like 10 and under to probably fit in here. So by the way, I'm like nine and I'm like four foot six or something. So um, yeah, that just gives you a beginning. Hi. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, I'm gonna show you how to um actually build a pillow like this. So let me just um. Get everything tore down and stuff. Um, my grandma's gonna post a video. I hope you didn't know. Um, I am at my grandma's house, so yeah. Um, my grandma's gonna post a video, and um, I'm gonna start building my pillow fort. So hello, guys. Today I'm gonna be doing a review on my pillow fort, and um, I wanted to kick off um the um all day videos. Um, I'm just gonna be doing videos all every single day so enjoy some of them might be late because my mom has to work night shift and everything so yeah let's get into the video yes i did the right one and my pillow was falling apart i don't know why wait shoot i just ruined it dang it uh, i have to do it again i just built a pillow for and i'm so happy i accidentally dropped the pillow and i'm throwing it up in the air I'm not going to do a blooper this time because I'm going to do it first. I don't care if I'm doing jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all through. Look at that pillow fort. I'm jumping on the couch and I don't really care. I'm starting a video. Oh, oh. It's pixelated. <laughs> 